Lakshmikant Chapter 5 Part 2 Union and its Territory However, in October 1953, the government of India was forced to create the first linguistic state, known as Andhra state, by separating the Telugu-speaking areas from the Madras state. This followed a prolonged popular agitation and the death of Porti Sri Ramulu, a Congress person of standing, after a 56-day hunger strike for the cause. Fizl Ali Commission The creation of Andhra state intensified the demand from other regions for creation of states on linguistic basis. This forced the Government of India to appoint, in December 1953, a three-member states reorganization commission under the chairmanship of Fazl Ali to re-examine the whole question. Its other two members were K.M. Panikkar and H.N. Kunzaru. It submitted its report in September 1955 and broadly accepted language as the basis of reorganization of states. But it rejected the theory of one language, one state. Its view was that the unity of India should be regarded as the primary consideration in any redrawing of the country's political units. It identified four major factors that can be taken into account in any scheme of reorganization of states. a. Preservation and strengthening of the unity and security of the country. b. Linguistic and cultural homogeneity. c. Financial economic and administrative considerations. d. Planning and promotion of the welfare of the people in each state as well as of the nation as a whole. The Commission suggested the abolition of the fourfold classification of states and territories under the original constitution and creation of 16 states and three centrally administered territories. The Government of India accepted these recommendations with certain minor modifications. By the States Reorganization Act, 1956, and the Seventh Constitutional Amendment Act, 1956, the distinction between Part A and Part B states was done away with and Part C states were abolished. Some of them were merged with adjacent states and some other were designated as Union territories. As a result, 14 states and 6 union territories were created on 1 November 1956. The States Reorganization Act, 1956, established the new state of Kerala by merging the Travancore, Cochin state with the Malabar district of Madras state and Kasargod of South Canara, Dakshina Kannada. It merged the Telugu-speaking areas of Hyderabad state with the Andhra state to create the Andhra Pradesh state. Further, it merged the Madhya Bharat state, Vindhya Pradesh state and Bhopal state into the Madhya Pradesh state. Similarly, it merged the Saurashtra state and Kutch state into that of the Bombay state, the Kurg state into that of Mysore state, the Patiala and East Punjab states union, Pepsu, into that of Punjab state and the Ajmer state into that of Rajasthan state. Moreover, it created the new union territory of Lakkadev, Minikoi and Amindivi islands from the territory detached from the Madras state. New states and union territories created after 1956 Even after the large-scale reorganization of the states in 1956, the political map of India underwent continuous changes due to the pressure of popular agitations and political conditions. The demand for the creation of some more states on the basis of language or cultural homogeneity resulted in the bifurcation of existing states. Maharashtra and Gujarat In 1960, the bilingual state of Bombay was divided into two separate states, Maharashtra for Marathi-speaking people and Gujarat for Gujarati-speaking people. Gujarat was established as the 15th state of the Indian Union. Dadra and Nagar Haveli The Portuguese ruled this territory until its liberation in 1954. Subsequently, the administration was carried on till 1961 by an administrator chosen by the people themselves. 
it was converted into a union territory of India by the 10th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1961. Goa, Daman and Diu. India acquired these three territories from the Portuguese by means of a police action in 1961. They were constituted as a union territory by the 12th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1962. Later, in 1987, Goa was conferred a statehood. Consequently, Daman and Diu was made a separate union territory. Puducherry The territory of Puducherry comprises the former French establishments in India known as Puducherry, Karaikal, Mahe and Yanam. The French handed over this territory to India in 1954. Subsequently, it was administered as an acquired territory till 1962 when it was made Union Territory by the 14th Constitutional Amendment Act. Nagaland In 1963, the state of Nagaland was formed by taking the Naga Hills and Twainsang area out of the state of Assam. This was done to satisfy the movement of the hostile Nagas. However, before giving Nagaland the status of the 16th state of the Indian Union, it was placed under the control of Governor of Assam in 1961. Haryana, Chandigarh and Himachal Pradesh In 1966, the state of Punjab was bifurcated to create Haryana, the 17th state of the Indian Union and the Union Territory of Chandigarh. This followed the demand for a separate Sikh homeland, Punjabi Subha, raised by the Akali Dal under the leadership of Master Tara Singh. On the recommendation of the Shah Commission, 1966, the Punjabi-speaking areas were constituted into the unilingual state of Punjab, the Hindi-speaking areas were constituted into the state of Haryana and the hill areas were merged with the adjoining Union Territory of Himachal, Pradesh. In 1971, the Union Territory of Himachal Pradesh was elevated to the status of a state, 18th state of the Indian Union. Manipur, Tripura and Meghalaya In 1972, the political map of Northeast India underwent a major change. Thus, the two Union Territories of Manipur and Tripura and the sub-state of Meghalaya got statehood and the two Union Territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh originally known as Northeast Frontier Agency, NEFA, came into being. With this, the number of states of the Indian Union increased to 21, Manipur 19th, Tripura 20th and Meghalaya 21st. Initially, the 22nd Constitutional Amendment Act, 1969, created Meghalaya as an autonomous state or sub-state within the state of Assam with its own legislature and council of ministers. However, this did not satisfy the aspirations of the people of Meghalaya. The union territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh were also formed out of the territories of Assam. Sikkim Till 1947, Sikkim was an Indian princely state ruled by Chogyal. In 1947, after the lapse of British paramountcy, Sikkim became a protectorate of India, whereby the Indian government assumed responsibility for the defence, external affairs and communications of Sikkim. In 1974, Sikkim expressed its desire for greater association with India. Accordingly, the 35th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1974, was enacted by the Parliament. This amendment introduced a new class of statehood under the Constitution by conferring on Sikkim the status of an associate state of the Indian Union. For this purpose, a new Article 2-A and a new Schedule, 10th Schedule containing the terms and conditions of association, were inserted in the Constitution. This experiment, however, did not last long as it could not fully satisfy the aspirations of the people of Sikkim. In a referendum held in 1975, they voted for the abolition of the institution of Chogyal and Sikkim becoming an integral part of India. Consequently, the 36th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1975, 
was enacted to make Sikkim a full-fledged state of the Indian Union, the 22nd state. This amendment amended the first and the fourth schedules to the constitution and added a new Article 371-F to provide for certain special provisions with respect to the administration of Sikkim. It also repealed Article 2-A and the 10th schedule that were added by the 35th Amendment Act of 1974. Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh and Goa In 1987, three new states of Mizoram, 14 Arunachal Pradesh 15 and Goa 16 came into being as the 23rd, 24th and 25th states of the Indian Union respectively. The Union Territory of Mizoram was conferred the status of a full state as a sequel to the signing of a Memorandum of Settlement, Mizoram Peace Accord, in 1986 between the Central Government and the Mizo National Front, ending the two-decade-old insurgency. Arunachal Pradesh had also been a Union Territory from 1972. The state of Goa was created by separating the territory of Goa from the Union Territory of Goa, Daman and Diu. Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand and Jharkhand In 2000, three more new states of Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand and Jharkhand were created out of the territories of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, respectively. These became the 26th, 27th and 28th states of the Indian Union, respectively. Telangana In 2014, the new state of Telangana came into existence as the 29th state of the Indian Union. It was carved out of the territories of Andhra Pradesh. The Andhra State Act, 1953, formed the first linguistic state of India, known as the state of Andhra, by taking out the Telugu-speaking areas from the state of Madras, now Tamil Nadu. Karnul was the capital of Andhra state, and the State High Court was established at Guntur. The State's Reorganization Act, 1956, merged the Telugu-speaking areas of Hyderabad State with the Andhra State to create the enlarged Andhra Pradesh State. The capital of the state was shifted to Hyderabad. Again, the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, 2014, bifurcated the Andhra Pradesh into two separate states, namely, the Andhra Pradesh, Resijuri, and the Telangana. Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh Till 2019, the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir had its own constitution and thus enjoyed a special status by virtue of Article 370 of the Constitution of India. In 2019, this special status was abolished by a presidential order known as the Constitution, Application to Jammu and Kashmir, Order, 2019. This order superseded the earlier order known as the Constitution, Application to Jammu and Kashmir, Order, 1954. The 2019 order extended all the provisions of the Constitution of India to Jammu and Kashmir also. However, the inoperative Article 370 continued to remain in the text of the Constitution of India. Further, the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act, 2019, bifurcated the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir into two separate union territories, namely, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the Union Territory of Ladakh. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir comprises all the districts of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir except the Kargil and Leh districts which have gone to the Union Territory of Ladakh. Thus, the number of states and Union Territories increased from 14 and 6 in 1956 to 28 and 9 in 2019. Respectively Change of Names the names of some states and union territories have also been changed. The United Provinces was the first state to have a new name. It was renamed Uttar Pradesh in 1950. In 1969, Madras was renamed Tamil Nadu. Similarly, in 1973, Mysore was renamed Karnataka. 
in the same year, Lakkadev, Minikoi and Amindivi Islands were renamed Lakshadweep. In 1992, the Union Territory of Delhi was redesignated as the National Capital Territory of Delhi without being conferred the status of a full-fledged state by the 69th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1991. In 2006, Uttaranchal was renamed as Uttarakhand. In the same year, Pondicherry was renamed as Puducherry. In 2011, Odisha was renamed as Odisha. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to buy this book, then link in the description you can buy it from there. If this video help you in any way so please do like and share this video and hit the subscribe button.